We're going to talk about rational functions. So what exactly is a rational function? A rational function can be defined in which both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. It can be written in the form f of x equals p of x over q of x, where p and q are polynomials with no common factor and q is not equal to zero. In solving a rational function, what we need to find is the domain, the x and y intercept, the asymptotes, vertical and horizontal, and the range. Okay, so let's try solving the given example f of x equals 3x plus 2 over x plus 4. First, we need to find its domain. See, the goal here is not to have a denominator of 0. So the domain will be all real numbers except those that make the denominator 0. The denominator is x plus 4, and clearly when you add negative 4 and 4, that will give you a result of 0. So the domain is all real numbers except negative 4. Now that we're done with finding the domain, let's proceed in finding the y and x intercept. In finding the y intercept, we need to substitute the value of x as 0. So f of x equals 3x plus 2 over x plus 4. Then substitute x as 0, so that would be f of 0 equals 3 times 0 plus 2 over 0 plus 4. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 equals 2. 0 plus 4 equals 4. So by now, you'd have 2 over 4. Reduce it, and you'll get 1 half, or when you change it into decimal, that would be 0 0.5. Since we're solving for the y-intercept, our x would be 0. So in writing an ordered pair for this, that would be 0 and 0 0.5. Next is the x-intercept, so that's where y is equal to 0. To solve for this, we need to equate the numerator. So 3x plus 2 equals 0. Transpose 2 to the other side, and you'll get negative 2. So 3x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3, and now the x-intercept is negative 2 over 3. Or when you convert it into a decimal, you'll get negative 0 0.667. You just gotta round it off to the nearest thousands. Now write its ordered pair so you wouldn't have much trouble in plotting this in the graph later. So the vertical asymptote is the one where the denominator is 0. So in getting this, you have to simply equate the denominator into 0. So that's x plus 4 equals 0. When you transpose 4 to the other side, that becomes negative. So x equals negative 4 becomes the vertical asymptote. Next, we have to get the horizontal asymptote. In getting your horizontal asymptote, we have to first follow these three basic rules. So let n be the degree of your numerator. When you say degree, it means the exponent, and m be the degree of your denominator. So if n is lesser than m, the horizontal asymptote is 0. If n equals m, the horizontal asymptote is y equals a over b, where a is the leading coefficient of the numerator, and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. And if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, so that's n is greater than m, you have no horizontal asymptote. In this case, n is equal to m. As you can see, they both have the same degree, which is 1. So, the leading coefficient of the numerator is 3, and the denominator's leading coefficient is 1. So that's 3 over 1, or simply 3. Moving on, we will now proceed in graphing the rational function. First, draw a Cartesian plane. Next, plot the x-intercept and y-intercept. The y-intercept is 0.5 and the x-intercept is negative 0.667. Then, plot the vertical and horizontal asymptote. Negative 4 is the vertical asymptote, and the horizontal asymptote is 3. So it looks like this. Next, we will draw a table of values. We will choose two points from the left side of the vertical asymptote, and as well as from the right side. So chosen points are negative 5, negative 6, negative 3, and negative 2. We will then use the original equation and substitute the value of x for the chosen points. Original equation is 3x plus 2 over x plus 4. Now, substitute negative 5 first. So 3 times negative 5 plus 2 is negative 13, over negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. 
So negative 13 divided by negative 1, that becomes positive 13. Because negative divided by negative is positive. So your y for negative 5 is 13. Next, substitute negative 6. So 3 times negative 6 plus 2 equals negative 16. Over negative 6 plus 4 equals negative 2. Reduce negative 16 over negative 2 and you'll have 8. So 8 is your y for negative 6. Next, we have negative 3. 3 times negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 7. Over negative 3 plus 4 equals 1. Negative 7 divided by 1 equals negative 7. So negative 7 is your y for negative 3. The last chosen point is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 plus 2 equals negative 4. Over negative 2 plus 4 equals 2. Reduce it and you'll have negative 2. So negative 2 is your y for negative 2. Now, we will plot the coordinates. Plot negative 5 and 13, negative 6 and 8, negative 3 and negative 7, and negative 2 and negative 2. Then we connect the two points on both sides. Then, on the other side, we connect the two points, which are negative 3 and negative 7, and negative 2 and negative 2. As you can see, the points are plotted on the opposite side of the other, because that's how it should be. The range is all real numbers except the value of the horizontal asymptote. Again, the horizontal asymptote is 3. So the range of this function is all real numbers except 3. Thank you for watching.